Yes. So what about, it's been reported, don't shoot the messenger, it's been reported that your mom and Ellen didn't necessarily have a tight relationship. No, they didn't. You know, my mother thought she was very funny. My mother thought she was a really good talk show host. There was never any animosity, but you know, you're not everybody in Hollywood is friends. And yeah, but there was nothing bad. And when I did Ellen promoting my first book, she was lovely to me. She told me how much my mom meant to her because my mother was one of the first people to come out and support her when she came out. And she remembers that. She brought it up to me. She's like, your mother was one of the first ones to back me up. So is all that like media, is that just media hype when you read all these things? Oh, um, I, I, what, about my mom and, and Ellen? Yeah. I haven't really read anything. The only person that's been talked to, talk, who's talked about it is Kathy Griffin. So, you know. Yes. I, there, there was not a, um, there was no sort of a few that I am aware of. And I spent a lot of time with my mom. She didn't really feud with anybody. And anybody she did, quote unquote, feud with was not famous. Right. You know, she had frenemies for sure. Don't we all? Oh, the list is too long. It is too long. Well, I think that's, that's a COVID thing too. It's like, I think we all have just had way too much time with ourselves, which is good in a way. But I think we're all just in our own heads. At least I have been myself. Um, you know, again, I, ha- I I always joke, I have lots of voices in my head, so I wasn't that lonely. <laughs> um, no, you get lonely and everyone gets in their heads. But one thing I do think has happened is people aren't taking things as personally and there's a level of awareness now that everybody's going through shit and through hell. And if someone's in a bad mood, it's not about you most likely. Do you ever find like just, well, like you said, like Joan and Melissa and even like the podcast, you know, it's, it's hard some days, right? Like when you're just like, I just don't want to be on today. I got to tell you, I love every day that I do my podcast. I love doing it. I, I look forward to it. I get it. This podcast has gotten me through COVID. I don't know what yeah. I would have done otherwise. Exactly. Literally. But that's good. Like when you were on Ellen, it was all copacetic. Cause like all these rumors now, you know, that it was like a toxic work environment and like all of that. You know, again, when you're just a guest on a show, you, you're not exposed to that. Right. You know, my big thing is, ooh, What's in the gift bag and what's the, what's the food like? You know, what's the craft services like? Right. Best craft services, hands down. Yeah. Rachel Ray. Really? Okay. Oh my God. Like when you saw that you were doing her show, I would be like, nobody eat, nobody eat anything yet. We're going over to Rachel Ray. And by the way, one time I did the show and was going to the airport and they like packed me food. Oh, by far the best green room food 